What's going on YouTube? Justin here, back in the game with another unboxing video. Today, I've got some new blades for the lawnmower. The package, for some reason, already came with this thing open, so I figured, whatever, we'll just unravel this part of it. I got, obviously, either the OEM replacement, but... I got the blades off of Amazon, came as a two package, as you can see here. They are nice and sharp. I'm sure they're already balanced. So all we're gonna do is I have a angle grinder with a sandpaper attachment and we're just gonna file this down a little bit here just so I can get the paint off of it or whatever so it's a sharp edge but I won't have to balance it because unfortunately I do not have a balancer on me right now. So we're just gonna have to go with that and then hope it's gonna be sharp enough. But without further ado, let's do that and install it. Enjoy. All right guys, so I have the mower here. When you are flipping it on its side, you wanna be sure to make sure the air filter and carburetor side is up and not facing down and the oil would be facing towards this way so it would go, you would want to put it like this so then you don't fill your air filter with gas and chill, uh uh not clog your motor what do you call it uh you get it anyway here is the old blade with the nut and the attachment here to protect the blade from you know from going all over the place it is a i believe a 17 or a 15 i can't remember but we're going to go ahead and grab a wrench and take that bolt off and then we'll swap it out all right guys so it is a 16 millimeter i've got the breaker bar here i don't have a impact on me right now that works so i'm going to risk it and just there's a little pin here that's from the deck i've got this thing and i'm just gonna stomp on this breaker bar hoping nothing breaks it's really whatever i'll figure it out sit you guys down and hoping this doesn't break anything i got it on there tight being this is just me being stupid at this point this is probably not going to be good um there we go it works it did the trick yep <laughs> i was unsure about it at first but it worked i uh worked at a lawnmower shop for like two years and never did it with uh, a ratchet or anything. It was always an impact. So it works. So there's you know, the old one. It needed replaced because the last time I did it, I balanced it and sharpened it. So it was time for a replacement anyway. But I have the grinder here with the attachment and I'm going to do the best I can to just kind of grind it down a little bit without having to balance it <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna do it right here on the deck I'm sure you guys don't see me I do not have a thing for the protection so I'll do it anyway
All right, guys, so it's fine. It's good enough. It's sharp. It'll cut my hand if I uh, hit it. So without further ado, let's reinstall it. Make sure you reattach it properly. Put the bolt with the piece here back on. So a little rusty down there. I have no idea why. Probably has been sitting outside for a little bit. <laughs> but it's whatever. I usually put any C's on those bolts, but I'm not going to press about it. It's an old mower anyway, and uh, also not mine. But the fact that it's not mine, I don't really, I do really care. Should care more than, but I don't right now because it's not like it's a customer's mower, it's my dad's mower. He's not going to care too much. So, make sure you get these tight with an impact if you're doing this at home. Do not try what I'm doing at home, please. This is uh, really not the way you're supposed to do it, but I'm helping myself anyway because I have no other option right now. So. have the time to or money to spend on an impact so this is having to do until then Good time to move it back over and give it a test. Alright guys, gonna give her a start here. It's a little flooded I think. She's good. She's just smoking a little bit because when I flipped her on the side this time, a um, little bit of gas spilled. Carburetor leaks a little bit when I tip it over on its side, which means the gasket on the bowl is probably a little uh, deteriorated and needs replacing if I were to tip it over again. But I mean, a mower is not supposed to sit on its side like that for that long, really without being leveled and stuff so it's all good it runs it's fine i'm not too concerned about it without further ado i hope you all are enjoying the content so far and please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace